Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. In today's video, I'm doing a three looks, three palettes. I have many eyeshadow palettes to test out right now and I thought this would be a great time to do a three looks, three palettes. I'm gonna be featuring three different things, doing three different looks, and I'm gonna be chatting about them with you. I do at some point also plan on doing additional looks with all three of these over on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, so just stay tuned for those. Um, but I'm very excited about diving into these. I'm gonna be doing swatches, close-ups, all that good stuff, and then at the end of the video, I'll give you my thoughts just so far on all these palettes and how I'm feeling. Before we get into the video itself, um, I'll be giving my accessory details during each individual look, so if you're curious about anything, um, just stay tuned. But my nail polish of the day is Mad Hatter by Mooncat. It's so pretty, like so sparkly, so magical. But yeah, I'm ready to just dive in and really chat about these palettes, so let's go ahead and talk about each one that I'm gonna be using and doing all the swatches and stuff. First up, we have Alter Ego's newest palette. This is the Wildwood. This is so pretty. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a dupe for the Yucca from Natasha Denona. I don't own that palette. I've never tried that palette, so I can't give specific comparisons. Um, but from what I understand from you guys, they're always pretty spot on with their like dupes. I do love this color story though. It's also giving me Feral from Menagerie so much. And I really enjoyed that color story as well. I like these kind of warm grungy shades i love the pop of the teal i love the different like mustardy yellows i think this is really pretty the row of shimmers on the top is really really nice as well they're very sparkly and usually my biggest qualm with alter egos palettes the last probably two three four years really all except the original ones um they put shades in their palettes that are like a cream texture that are still like matte shadows but they're a little creamier rather than a powder and i've heard from you guys that natasha denona does the same thing um, but usually there's a lot of them, but this time there's only two, which I'm very happy about. And my only qualm with them is just that they're never as dark as they look in the pan as they translate on the eyes. I feel like they just never build up to be the same level of pigmentation. I would so much rather them just be traditional powders. I feel like their powder mattes are really good and their powder shimmers are really good. And the, the creamy mattes just take away. So I'm really happy to see that there's only two of them just because of my personal preference. Next up, we have Lethal Cosmetics newest palette. This is the Mellow Grove. This is so pretty. I really like this packaging. This is definitely gonna be like the sister palette to the Midnight Serenade, just packaging format, everything. The insides are so pretty. I was blown away when I saw this. I think this is gorgeous. It's very much like grungy garden for me. I love these dusty muted tones, but it's still colorful. I love Lethal's formulas. I think the mattes are beautiful to work with and the shimmers are so, so stunning. I'm really, really excited about this one. And I feel like there's a lot of options you can do with this palette. I think it's really, really cool. And I'm just excited to dive into this one more because I love Lethal's formulas. I really enjoy their palettes. And I feel like this one has a lot of potential to even possibly become one of my favorites from the brand. I just think this is a really, really cool color story. And last but certainly not least, we have the Strawberry Moon from Ensley Rain. This is beautiful. They actually launched a Strawberry Moon palette, I wanna say like a year or more ago. I never owned the original, but they recently kind of redid it to have the same like square magnetic pans to match their other palettes. They apparently tweaked some of the shades to be more unique. Again, I don't have the original, so I don't know which shades have been changed. I just know that I'm thrilled to have this. I think this is so pretty, such an explosion of color. I'm calling it right now. This is gonna be in my summer favorites video. I think I'm gonna wanna wear this all summer. I can see myself wanting to travel with it. Even just based on the color story alone and the fact that I know I like Ensley Rain's formulas, I could see this even potentially becoming a favorite for the year. I just think this is so cool, so rich, so saturated. I love like the rich yummy blues and teals with these really fun pops of like corally pink. I like the couple purples, the couple yellows. This is summer in a palette and as someone who really does not enjoy summer, this makes me want to enjoy summer. I don't know why, it's just juicy, it's lovely and I'm really excited. This is actually, as I'm filming this intro, this is the only one I haven't tried yet, but it is the one that's getting me very, very excited. So that's just kind of our, our quick little introduction to what I'm gonna be playing with today, all those swatches and stuff. I will have all three of these linked down below as well as any discount codes if I have any. Um, but without further ado, let's get into all three looks and I'll give you my rounded up thoughts kind of on everything at the end of the video. All right, hello, hello. How's it going? Look number one of this video. I have some palettes to test out, so I figured we'd do a little three looks, three palettes. Um, I've not put in earrings yet because I don't know exactly how this is gonna turn out, but we're gonna figure it out. For look number one, I wanna use the Wildwood from Alter Ego. It's super cute. 
and I want to dive in. I want to do something kind of with the blue, the yellow, these shimmers are looking really pretty. Um, I'm going to use my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eye Primer. Also, if my voice is like not at its peak, it's because literally just yesterday I came home from the recent Creators and Friends event, which my vlog about it should already be up. My Get Ready With, with Me about it should already be up, but this is technically the first thing I'm filming since getting back. So I didn't have a ton of time this morning. Um, so that's what's going on. <laughs> We're gonna get through it together. So I wanna start with this shade here, Stream. I'm just gonna use a little Sigma E27 brush. I feel like this is truly just like my favorite like brush shape to go in with first because I can really like fluff and tuck in the outer corner. And just kind of like dust it a little bit through the crease. I think I'm gonna take it about halfway across. Cute. I'm just gonna kind of tippy tap in the outer corner, kind of build it up just a smidge. Ooh, that's a good color. I really like that color. And I'm gonna kind of drag some against that lower lash line. Something kind of sort of like that. And I think next I want to go in with the shade Honey. I'm just going to use my Singe E03 brush. I want to first start in the front corner and just kind of add a little bit of this before I start really mixing it with the blue. Just kind of get a little pop going on. I've always loved a blue-yellow combination. I just think it's so pretty. And basically every variation of tone. I just think it looks so good. And now I want to first start in the outer corner of that lower lash line and just do light little swirls of that same yellow shade just to get kind of a splash of it popping down here. Oh, that's really cute. I do plan on putting a winged liner with this look, so I wanna make sure I have pops of interest happening outside of where that liner is gonna lie. I'm just kind of going through and just doing light little dusting now, just like around the edge of the blue, just to get a little bit of a blur, but I want that main pop of yellow to be in that front and bottom. All right, let's do some shimmer now. I'm gonna start with my NYX Glitter Primer. And I am gonna use a brush since I have long nails. Um, E55 by Sigma. I'm just gonna grab a little bloop of that. And I'm gonna tippy tap this all along the lid. Just want a little explosion of shimmer everywhere. And I think I wanna use Thrive. That's the one that's kind of speaking to me right now. So I'm just gonna use that same sticky brush and I am going to just kind of plop this all over my lid. Ooh, that's really, really pretty. That's a good one. And I'm just gonna kind of go through and make sure the edges of that shade are all fluffed and blended. I do wanna go ahead and add my inner corner. I'm gonna use Lush just for a cutie little spotlight. I just wanna add a wing now. I'm gonna use my Rare Beauty liner. And it's always so hard for me to do this on camera, so bear with me. Ooh, I'm just gonna draw my tail like that. <laughs> and then I'm just going to kind of swoop it in. I want it to be obviously thinner in the front. And then I'm just gonna kind of connect and fill it in. And then I have to do the other one and then make sure they match as close as possible. So that's kind of the general rundown. All right, I think that's about as even as those are gonna get. I'm gonna throw on my lashes and eye pencil and something on my lips and then I'll be back. All right, here's how look number one turned out. I really, really like this. I just like that combination of the, the tealy blue with the yellow. I think that shimmer on the lid is so pretty. I really like this one. The eye pencil I threw in is Catsuit from ColourPop. I just felt like it would give a extra bold splash of color in this look. These lashes are delicate from Likely Makeup. And then my lip today is Rosewood Pencil from Lawless with the All Heart Lip Oil from Sigma over top. So yeah, this is look number one. I hope you like it. I threw on my Spooky Doodle Club earrings and I'm feeling pretty good. So I'm gonna go run my errands today that I need to do and I'll see you next for look number two. All right, friends. Hello, look number two coming at you. Um, these earrings, which are kind of twisted, um, but they're very cute. It's a little black and white moon. These are from the brand Intuitive Wisdom. And this necklace I got like years ago um, in San Juan <laughs> at a boutique. I don't know exactly where. Um, but let's move on to look number two. For the second look, I'm gonna be using the new, I think this is the Mellow Grove from Lethal. They don't write their names on these palettes, so I always forget, but I think it's called Mellow Grove. Um, and it's very pretty. I'm thinking a halo eye might sound good. Um, I wanna play with some greens. That's kind of where I'm at, so 
let's do the thing. I'm gonna prime with my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eye Primer. Just gonna slather this on and blend it out. You also may possibly hear world noises in this look because the weather's beautiful this morning and I have to enjoy it. I it's the law. So I think I want to start with Sylvan, this um, green. I'm going to use my Sigma E45. I'm just going to start kind of tippy tapping in the outer corner. Although why does Lawnmower Man have to be going off right now? We were doing so good all morning and now that I'm filming, Lawnmower Man is going off. That's very rude. Okay, he wins. I'll shut the window. Not only was Lawnmower Man going off, but the rooster across the street was also starting to go off. That's hilarious. But I'm just gonna lightly kind of tippy tap this in the inner and outer corner of my eye. Just get kind of a little bit of a, a smudgy shape going on. Kind of keeping it close to really my lid itself and just running it a little bit through the crease. Just enough to get a little bit of dimension in there. Something kind of sort of like that. I'm gonna be using other shades to deepen up and also blend it out. So this is just kind of my in-between shade for this look. I also wanna smudge this against that lower lash line. Sometimes I halo the lower lash line. I don't think I'm feeling that today. I just want a smoky lower lash. These shadows are really, really pretty. I feel like I always have a good time with lethal shadows. It's like never too much of a worry that things are gonna turn out okay. Okay, I want to start blending that out. I wanna use Lagoon. Lagoon is one of those like sequency shadows where it's basically a matte, but there's a little sparkle pressed in. This is a Sigma E49, by the way. In the past, this was not my favorite type of shadow formula. Like give me just a plain matte or give me a shimmer. I don't really want a sparkly matte, but I feel like as time goes on, I'm kind of down for it because I feel like I like to just see shimmer kind of splattered everywhere anyway. So I'm not mad at it. And I mean, the shimmer kind of dusts away anyway, so it's just like not that big of a deal, but that's kind of what this shadow is. And I'm just using really little bits. I just want to use this just to buff the very outside edges of this look. I don't want to stretch this out too far. If anything, I want it fairly concentrated to where it is right now. I just want to blur the edges just a little bit. All right, I wanna deepen this up just a tiny bit more. So I wanna take this shade here, Quiver. I'm gonna use my Sigma E42 for this. It's kind of like a dark brownish plum. And I really only wanna use this just a little bit in the very inner and outer corners and also along that lower lash line just to add a little bit more depth and dimension before I go in with my shimmers. Scooting it really, really tight against those lashes. I'm really excited about this palette. This is really pretty. I'm excited to play with it again. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of go back down the line now. So I'm gonna take Sylvan, that green. And again, I'm not taking this like out super far or anything. I just wanna use this just to buff out that darker shade that I laid down. This is looking so pretty. I love all the dimension that's happening with this look. And I'm gonna grab a little bit more of Lagoon and again, just do kind of the same thing, just to re-blend the blend, including on that lower lash line. This is so pretty. All right, let's do some shimmer now. I'm gonna start with my NYX Glitter Primer, of course. I'm gonna use this Sigma E55 brush. I'm just gonna grab a little bloop of that, and I'm going to just kind of tippy tap this in the center of both of my lids and just blend it out, focused mostly in the middle and kind of blending outwards as I have less product going on. And we're gonna do two shimmers. I think I wanna use Solitude in the inner and outer part of my lid and then this light green one, Elysian, on the inner part. So let's start with Solitude first. Ooh, that's, that's pretty. So I'm just gonna lightly plop this in just the inner and outer corner of my lid. Ooh, that's pretty. That is sparkly. I feel like I'm barely even putting any on and it's just like sparkle central. And I'm just gonna flip that same brush over and grab a lesion and that's gonna go in the center of my lid. This color is really, really pretty. Ooh, that's such a nice spotlight in the middle. I like it a lot. Really, I want this shimmer to be the main focus. I just want the other shimmer in the inner and outer corner to just kind of be like my blend toward the matte since I have a lot going on out there. I'm just gonna grab a little bit more of Solitude and just kind of like build that up a little bit and then just kind of go back and forth between both sides of my brush until I like the way my shimmers are all flowing together. And I'm kind of just going and just lightly dusting with one of my blending brushes just to make sure the edges of this shimmer are blending into my mattes nicely. I really like this. I think this is really pretty, very moody. I like the soft green. I'm into it. And then I think for the inner corner, let's just go Bliss. Why not? I'm just gonna use this old Odin's eye brush and just 
plop it in the inner corner for a little highlighty moment. And this is pretty much look one. I'm just going to throw on my lashes and an eye pencil and something on my lips. And I'll be back when I'm complete. Here's look number two complete. I love this. I really liked how look number one came out, but I'm just really liking this whole vibe, especially with just like the pops of like muted dusty green, the pops of gold. I love this lip with this eye combo. This is really pretty. Like I'm pretty sure look number three is gonna be my favorite just cause I'll be using the strawberry moon and like, are you kidding me right now? That's so pretty. But I really, really like this. I feel like this palette is very much just like, colorful elegance like i can feel really pretty and glamorous but still playing with color and obviously i need to play with this more i've only played with it the one time so far but i really like this so far this is really pretty the eye pencil i ended up throwing in is spare time from ColourPop. these lashes are flutter from bright lashes and then my lip combo that i'm loving is the number six pencil from freck with the merit beauty mason lipstick over top of it. I think this is so pretty. Um, I can see this becoming a new favorite lip combo of all time. This is so good. And this is my first time playing with these Merit Beauty lipsticks and they're really, really soft. So all good things today. Very excited about it. Um, let's move on now to look number three. All right, friends, look number two. Um, we're going to dive in, but my accessory details before I forget, this is an Ana Luisa necklace and these earrings used to be plugs from Hear No Evil Jewelry, I believe, and I turned them into earrings. Um, so yeah, let's uh, hop in. Look number three, like I said, is going to be the Strawberry Moon and I'm so pumped. I'm so incredibly pumped. I really want to channel the blues and teals. I'm going to have a little bit of a yellow. I really want to play with this hollow shade if I can. Um, but we'll just see. We're just going to see. That way, might not end up being the vibe once I like get to it. Um, I'm thinking a pop of peach in the inner corner could also be fine. So let's just see what happens. If I don't use that hollow shade today, I will use it in my other video on like Instagram, TikTok, YouTube shorts. So I'm going to prime with my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eye Primer again. I'm just going to slather this on and blend it out. I've also not done anything to my hair yet, so... I will get to that when I get to that. I think I wanna start with Litha, that beautiful like teal. I'm gonna use this dual ended Sigma brush. I'm gonna use the, what are you called? The E38 side. And I'm just gonna start kind of fluffing this just in the very outer corner. Maybe a little bit more than that. I barely grabbed any cause I got scared. Um, I'm gonna grab just a little bit of Litha and start adding some of that color. Why is that like not as vibrant as I thought it would be? What's happening? Am I just like not grabbing enough? Oh, there we go. Now some color payoff is starting to happen. I wanna pop some of this on that lower lash line. I am gonna really smoke out my lower lash line with like black liner and stuff too. But I just wanna get a little bit of a base laid down to kind of start. This is just gonna help my darker like blues and teals like blend out later. So just getting a little bit of that laid down. All right, I wanna take some yellow now. I wanna take this pale yellow. I'm gonna use my Sigma E40 brush. I'm just gonna grab some of that. And I just want to like use this to help blend at the edge of that first shade. I might even kind of like start grabbing into both shades, like kind of mixing them together just to get a little bit more fluffed out in this outer corner. We're really just laying the foundation right now. This is nothing crazy yet. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and grab some more of Litha on that fluffy brush, just really load it up and then just lightly fluff it around. Just get that kind of splash of color going on. Okay, I want to go in now with Lagoon, I think, and I'm gonna use my Sigma E49 brush. I'm just going to plop this also again in the outer corner. I almost want this covering like almost the whole outer like section of my lid even, just to really add some depth and dimension to start blending in toward all those light shades that I laid down already. This moment, I'm not really worried about the lower lash line because I want to smoke out my liner first. Again, I'm going to grab a little bit more of that Litha and Pale Yellow sort of combo, and I'm just going to make sure the edge of that next shade, Lagoon, is blended out. I'm liking the way this is coming together so far. This is already so fun. All right, I do want to go ahead and start smoking out the lower lash line before I add my darkest blue. Um, I'm just going to take Swerve from ColourPop, just a black pencil, tight lining that upper water line to start, and just really tucking and smudging this all up in my water line. Heavy focus in the outer corner. It's going to look kind of like that, a little scary. <laughs> I'm just going to take my Blend Bunny B2 brush, no product on it. I'm just going to use this clean brush just to help soften the edge of that black liner. 
just to get it a little less chunky looking before I add color. All right, now going in with Awaken. I'm gonna use my Sigma E42 brush and I'm just gonna add just a little bit of depth to the outer corner of my lid. Nothing too crazy. Again, I just want kind of a blended kind of explosion of color going on. I just want this darkest one to kind of blend into everything I've already laid down. And then just, I wanna take a little bit more of Lagoon, that second to darkest teal, just to make sure that's all blending and smudging. I'm basically just gonna go down my line of brushes, you know? Make sure everything is flowing the way I want it to. And again, taking some more of Litha. Just repeating the same thing. I'm already having so much fun with this palette though. This is so pretty and we haven't even gotten to a different color yet. <laughs> this is just so fun. So now again, I'm just gonna kind of repeat my same process. I'm gonna take Awaken on that small Sigma brush and I wanna really smokeify this lower lash line, especially in the outer third. I just wanna really blown out bluey teal. Oh yeah, that's good. And then grabbing some of Lagoon just gonna really swirl this, especially in this outer third. I'm not even really gonna take this all the way in. I just want it in the outer third of that lower lash. And grabbing some of Litha on that biggest Sigma brush. Again, just focusing it on the outer third of the lower lash line. I just love a heavy lower lash. I think it's so pretty. And then I am just gonna wipe this brush off as much as possible and then grab some more of that light yellow. Um, just to like swirl around the very outer edges of this look, just to kind of seal the deal, get everything as blended as possible. All right, I'm feeling really good about this. Let's move on to some shimmer now. I'm gonna use my next Glitter Primer. And I do think I am gonna not do, do I wanna do the hollow today? I mean, it would be really pretty, but I think I want to make the bright peach more of the star of the show, do more of like a bluey teal with a peach. I think that would be, really fun for today. So I think I'll do that today and I'll do the hollow next time. I'm just gonna grab some of that on my Sigma E55. I'm just gonna bloop this <laughs> on my lids. It's gonna be very tealy blue. I'm even gonna have a pop of another teal, I think on the lower lash line. So it's gonna be a whole explosion. So it's gonna be mostly pool party on the lid. I'm just grabbing that same sticky brush. And I'm gonna cover it about two thirds of the way in. I'm gonna leave that front little pocket kind of open for the peach, but the rest of this, I just want to flow into all those mats that I've been laying down. This is so rich and vibrant. All right, I'm just gonna kind of make sure that shimmer is blending into my mats nicely. So just doing a little scooting. So I do wanna take a little bit of Eden, that teal shimmer. I'm just gonna use my Sigma E42 from before. I'm just gonna wipe it off first. And I'm gonna grab some of that and I just wanna pop it kind of right here in this front little pocket of that lower lash line and just let it kind of blend in with the other mattes going on on the lower lash line. I just love a lower lash line sparkle. I think it's so pretty. And again, I'm just gonna make sure that's blending nicely into everything else I have going on. And then finally, I'm gonna take Radiant. I'm gonna use the packing side of that Sigma brush. It is an E something, E54. I'm just gonna grab some of that peach and I wanna pop this in that front part of my lid. Oh, that's already so pretty. Wow, 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 that's gorgeous. I'm just kind of trying to merge it in with that blue as much as possible. Since this peachy coral is kind of orange based, orange and blue are uh, complementary colors, meaning they look really cute together, but they can blend weird together. I find that you can blend fairly opposite colors on the color wheel when it's a shimmer pretty easy, but I'm still just like really taking my time. I'm also heavily plopping this in the inner corner because why not? I just want it to blend up and into that blue. I think that looks really, really cute together. I think that peach was a really good choice. And this is pretty much where I'm at. I really, really like this. I think this is fun. I just need to throw on my lashes a lip and I need to do my hair and I'll be back when I'm complete. All right, here's look number three. I love this. I love just how vibrant and colorful it is. I love how shiny my lids are. I just love this combination. I think it's so, so, so pretty. These lashes are Flutter from Bright Lashes. And then my lip combo today is the Lively Pencil from Rare Beauty. And then my new Patrick Ta, she's expensive gloss over top. I just bought this yesterday. Popped over to Sephora for the Sephora sale. I didn't get much, but I did get this. 
I've had my eye on those glosses for a while and it was the only one in stock and I think it's the one I liked the most anyways, so really like it so far, but this is the third look. I really hope you like just watching all these looks transpire. Let's zoom out and I will give you my thoughts so far on the palettes. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really enjoyed playing with all these palettes and creating these looks. I feel like each look was such a different vibe. Um, and I would love to know which one you liked the most. Were you feeling that teal yellow combination in look number one? Did you like the soft green in look number two? Or are you liking this big explosion of color for look number three? I think this is my favorite, but I was genuinely happy with all three looks. I think they were all so fun to do, and I'm pretty happy with all these palettes. But let's break them down, shall we? Obviously, we have the Wildwood, and I kind of talked about my qualms about just that creamy matte texture that's in these palettes. But again, I am thankful that there's only two of them. I haven't used those two shades in particular, and to be honest, I probably won't. I'll just avoid them, because I know I don't like that formula. But the other mattes that I tried are beautiful. I think the formula is really, really nice to work with. I think the powders work great, and I love these shimmers. They're all very sparkly. I think this is a really fun combination of colors, which obviously it was inspired by Natasha Denona's Yuka. I do just like this color story in general, and I think aside from those creamy mattes that I don't like. I think this is a pretty well executed palette, especially if you liked this vibe, but you don't have Natasha Denona type money. Maybe this would be a good option for you. We have the Mellow Grove now from Lethal, and I really can see myself gravitating toward this a lot. Like if this had already launched before spring hit, this would have been in my spring favorites video for sure this year. I think it's so pretty. I like that it's very dusty but very elegant and like it's muted, but it's still colorful. It's really, really pretty. I like the combination of these like burgundies and pinks with the soft greens. I think it's so aesthetically pleasing. I really like the formulas that are in here. The mattes blend super, super easily and the shimmers are so, so pretty on the lids. I'm really excited to play with this one more in particular. I think it's just gorgeous. And I could see this one becoming like a go-to when I wanna do something that's kind of elegant and pretty, but still in the colorful realm. It kind of has the best of both worlds. And then of course, my star of the show, The Strawberry Moon by Ensley Rain. I had a feeling this would be my favorite and I think so far so good. I think it's safe to say this is my favorite palette of the three. It's just so me, so bright, so bold, so colorful, so punchy. I love how shifty and magical the shimmers are. I love that there's the hollow in here. I'm so excited to dive into that shade. I think this is just a fun summery explosion and I love it. I'm so happy I have this palette. I'm happy I have just like this newly remastered version of it. Again, I don't have the original so I can't do comparisons. Um, I think the brand said that they would be sharing swatch comparisons so I would just stay tuned to their Instagram. That might've already happened by the time this video goes up. But I just know that I'm really, really loving this palette. I'm excited to do looks with all of these palettes again. And I think this was a fun, successful, three looks, three palettes. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you have your eye on any of these palettes? Do you plan on getting any of them? Have you already gotten any of them? I would love to hear your thoughts down below. If you made it to the end of this video, why don't you leave, you know, leave emojis that represent your favorite palette of these three. I think that would be fun. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm Batty Bean there as well. You can also subscribe. I'm posting most days over here. You can also join my channel memberships. The link to sign up will be down below. You'll get fun little perks, including a members only video once a month. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.